Hi, my name is Aaron Cooper, and my farm is Cut Fresh Organics. Yeah, I've been farming organic grain for 15 years now, since 2009. Started the first field and transitioned slowly over that time. Uh, reason buy, to buy the weed zapper was you know, as I more more and more years I got into organic grain, the more weeds <laughs> we'd have every year, and uh, too much to hand pull. Um, and then, you know, some years I was disking up fields of soybeans um, just because they were too bad. And, uh, you know, we would have weed seeds in with the, the load I'm selling to grain buyers. And they could, you can get a load rejected for too many weed seeds. And, you know, it's, it is a game changer. It's been really successful. It kills any weed it touches. Uh, so you know, we're definitely able to eliminate weeds suited for yeah early season mid season and late season you can you can get out there anytime i mean once the soybeans are a few weeks old and the weeds have gotten over top of them that kind of mid season i guess i'd like to be running the weed zapper just twice but it seems like lately i've been running it you know three or four times um uh if i have time to get out there and there's you know new flushes or layers of weeds i call them not new flushes because they're they're probably old weeds that are just a, a little bit different stages. I go out there as soon as I can. Yeah, once there's weeds at least six inches over the soybeans, I'll, I'll go out there if I have if I have a chance to do it because they're those weeds are definitely competing with the soybeans even when they're the soybeans are that small. I try to schedule it so I get the last zapping uh, before any se weeds go to seed, which that you know later in August they're trying to go to seed quicker, so you have to have to get them right before they go to seed um, when you can still drive through the soybeans. Yeah, so I'm just using it in row crops now. Um, I have, well, I, yeah, so so I, I do eight rows at a time with this machine um, and really only in soybeans. Done it in green beans before too, like fresh market green beans. Um, and I've done it in grain sorghum, um, you know, when the weeds, it's pretty bad when the weeds get over that, but a few do, but you can run it in grain sorghum and get over top of the heads um, without hitting the grain sorghum. But yeah, it could be could be used in small grains if you had any any weeds over top. Um, I guess if you had some fallow ground, uh, I haven't done it, but you could get rid of Canada thistle, things like that. Different types of weeds I deal with on my farm are, well, pigweed's the main one, both palmer and um, redroot. You know, those are definitely by, you know, by volume the most. Jimson weed's another one. I think well, cockleburr is another broadleaf. Grasses, it's you know the crabgrass is kind of hard to control because it stays below the canopy most of the time. Fall panicum and foxtail are right, can be controlled better. They you know they get taller, taller seed heads. I haven't had any trouble with um, you know crop injury unless you know I'm not paying attention and I'm have the have the pipe too low and I'm hitting the soybeans. But I I definitely try not to do that weed zapper um, generator which is a 120,000 watt generator um, it's run by the power takeoff on the tractor uh, and there's um, you know we have a wire going to the control box in the cab there's a touchscreen control box and there's a like a safety seat pad so you if you get off the seat it'll shut down um, and then the you know this is the wire going under the tractor um, up to the toolbar so this is the toolbar um, that the wire the electric comes through this is attached to a copper pipe i run a 20 foot copper pipe you know has the insulators you know so that's what kills the weeds you want that just barely over the soybeans touching the weeds um this is the no-till coulter or a, a regular coulter um, with a speed sensor on it and then we have the just a grounding wire right here that's bolted from the coulter assembly to the you know this pipe that goes uh, it's bolted to the machine and then back to the generator. Right now I'm using a 170 horsepower tractor and that seems to be a perfect size to run eight rows or 20 feet. It's not a whole lot of maintenance involved, it, just greasing a few grease fittings every 10 hours. Uh, there's a pretty big belt on the generator um, and it, it needs to be, you know, you have to check the tension and, you know, eventually it'll need to be replaced. I think I put about 200 hours on this machine so far and really haven't had to do anything to it. It takes, uh, it depends on the weed pressure for fuel consumption. Um, I'd say anywhere from a, a gallon and a half an acre to two gallons an acre. 
It's kind of what I'm seeing. The speed uh, operated at is generally about four miles an hour. Uh, the first year we bought the zapper, it probably paid for it. Um, just depends on the price of organic soybeans, but if they're $20 a bushel now or whatever, they're, you know, if you had to disc up a whole field, uh, you know, like a hundred acre field or something of, you know, potentially 40 bushel to the acre soybeans, you know, that's, that would have uh, paid for a new zapper in one year, like $80,000. So it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't take long to pay for it. A lot of electric <laughs> running through everything. So um, I, I don't know, I drag a chain behind the the drawbar of the tractor just to, to try to ground things out and uh, you know you can also start fires uh, if you have dry weeds or, or um, res dry residue on, under the crop I've done that on the edges of fields of forest you have to stop and go stomp it out the weed zapper is definitely a you know not an early season weed control um, and and it's uh, you know like a row crop cultivator is going to get everything in between the rows so I'm definitely still going to use that but the weed zapper takes care of what you know is weeds that are in the row coming up with the plant or it could take care of middles too but there's no it's a lot cheaper to run a cultivator for that or can i think and it has been used uh, some by um, conventional farmers non-organic uh, to control uh you know herbicide resistant weeds but it would be nice to have um, some under canopy you know um you know, delivery of electric somehow, you know, between the rows or ne next to the row, because eventually, you know, the weeds, I guess, will, you know, mutate to, to they'll, they'll be shorter and wider as I kill the tall ones, you know, the, the ones that are shorter and wider will survive and they'll be hard to get with a zapper as, as it is with a single pipe like this.